EDCP 103 faculty, another academic writing faculty. I wanted to take you through some of the documents that we produced as a result of our COG section for EDCP 103. This video will help you understand the documents better as we uh, discuss them in the next three weeks. The first document is the Course Outcomes Guide. The Course Outcomes Guide is where we get the acronym COG and every course at UMUC is developing a guide of this nature. Before discussing our proposed outcomes for EDCB 103, let's take a look at our current course objectives for the class. The class now has these seven objectives. All classes undergoing the segue process are producing more focused and fewer course outcomes. The course outcomes we propose are the following. The first one is, as you can see in the left hand part of your screen, formulate an appropriate topic and an arguable thesis in order to, con to construct an essay. The second one is apply principles of focus, organization, and support in order to construct effective essay components. And the third is demonstrate accurate grammar and mechanics in writing. Three outcomes. This is characteristic of many UMUC courses undergoing the segue process. Three to six outcomes is the norm for most classes. I wanted to mention the strategy behind the development of these outcomes. Stern and Solomon wrote a paper in 2006, Effective Faculty Feedback, The Road Less Traveled. The paper reports on a study they conducted on faculty response to student papers. Without going into the details of the study, I wanted to point out that they divided faculty comments into four main areas. One was the global level area. This, re this reflected comments on the overall quality of the paper, the paper's structure and organization, the creativity and voice of the student. The next level was the middle level. This had to do with the quality of specific thoughts and claims, the support and evidence for the claims. It also dealt with paragraph and sentence structure or style. I actually think sentence structure would be more appropriate for the next level they identified, which was the micro level. The micro level dealt with word, and cho word choice and phrasing. It dealt with uh, grammar and punctuation, spelling, and references and citations. Finally, they had a fourth uh, category of other comments, other types of comments the instructor might make on a paper. What we decided to do was take these first three categories, the global, middle, and micro level, and devise our course outcomes based on those categories. The first, the first course outcome for EDCP 103 is a global outcome formulated appropriate topic and arguable thesis. The second one is a middle level outcome, more of the paragraph level and the uh, support and, uh, for, your, for your claims. And the third outcome is a micro level outcome, accurate grammar and mechanics in writing. So we're using the present literature to help inform the course outcomes. In this same document, you'll see another category, I'm sorry, another column, assessments. These are the assessments that students, or these are the things students will do to determine whether they're fulfilling this outcome. Conferences, drafts of papers, th uh, thesis quiz, final exam, these all assess how well students do in outcome one. For outcome two, a similar situation. The various drafts of the paper, the conferences, etc. For outcome three, very similar with some diagnostic grammar quiz and, and, and uh, other types of uh, tasks added. The next column reflects the core concepts, skills, and issues that a student needs to have dealt with or mastered in order to uh, accomplish these tasks and fulfill this outcome. So the students have to understand the concept of com comparison and contrast. They have to have the skill of uh, you know, identifying sentences. And the issues they may deal with are issues of dealing with their level of formality, time management, uh, technical problems, whether they be in the WebTyco environment or other. 
issues of following direction. So concepts, skills, and issues are three items we, we list in this category, in this column. And as you can see, these are listed for all three outcomes. That is how this particular document uh, can be read. By the way, I should mention that we also have a proposed revision to the course description of EDCP 103. The proposed revision is at the top of the document. Uh, a review of basic writing skills. Topics include the writing process, strategies for developing academic paragraphs and essays, and key aspects of grammar, punctuation, and mechanics. So it's very short and to the point. The next document posted to you is the is, is called the syllabus. The course description is given here. I just read that to you. The course outcomes are here. Those three were in the previous document. The course introduction has been uh, modified a bit. You might be interested in this, the grading information and criteria. We have three writing assignments, quizzes, participation, and a final exam. Notice that for the three writing assignments, we have written all drafts in parentheses. The writing process will be embedded into, e into each assignment. Instructors will give feedback to drafts of these assignments so that students can revise them. The assignments are described as follows. The first one is a paragraph comparing two subjects based on three points of comparison. Writing assignment two is either a classification or a cause and effect analysis of one paragraph. The instructor gives more detailed instructions. The third is an essay of five paragraphs. Again, these will be written in drafts with comments from the instructor. The next document is the eight-week schedule. This is what we propose for the eight weeks. In the first week, for example, the student will submit the first draft of a short paper, the comparison contrast. There's also some reading materials. We've taken a look at the lectures and the other materials in the modules and suggested what might be useful for this revision of EDCP 103. That's week one. In week two, students will submit a draft of short paper two and receive feedback from the instructor from the paper one. In week three, they'll submit a revised draft of short paper one. In week four, they'll submit a first draft of the essay and they'll receive feedback from the first draft of paper two. In week five, they'll submit a revised draft of paper two and receive feedback from the first draft of the essay. You also have a, a quiz here and some other tasks. In week six, they submit a revision of the essay. And in week eight, they submit the final draft of the essay, having gotten feedback from the instructor. So the writing process is key and is embedded into the weekly task. Hopefully this helps you understand the three documents that we posted. For the next three weeks, we'll discuss these documents in Writing 9 and 9. Thanks very much.